Hi, Gamma Gammas. Okay, I know this is our first escape room like this. I love making these, but this one is not going to be my best work because as you could see, I just started making it today and I want you to play it tomorrow. And so normally there would be a little more excitement, maybe a little more deep hidden objects, but this one's going to be pretty straightforward, which might be kind of a fun way to start you out. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to be working with people and or not. You can work alone if you want to. And you are going to be finding six different clues or maybe seven. I don't remember. Six or seven. You're going to write down the numbers that you get when you find the clue. And it, they're always going to be hiding under an emoji. So like there will be an emoji face and whatever digit you would put in that number, you're going to write that number down. So when it's all said and done, you're going to have a six or seven, I forgot, digit code, and that's what you're going to use to escape. You're going to try to escape by clicking on the little Twitter bird icon and see if you can actually escape the two-headed Lila and the half-headed Everly and get out of here. We'll see what happens. Okay, like I said, there might be some quality control issues with this. I'm sorry. The next one will be so much fancier, but I hope you have fun with it. I'm making it for you last minute because I'm excited about it. So don't judge too harshly, okay? You can handle that. Okay, have fun. So let's take a look at this model. My video got funky, so I'm back. I was gone, but I'm back. Okay, pretend that one rectangle is one whole. If that hole is broken into though that many equal pieces, I count them, and it turns out there's 10 equal pieces. So each of those sticks or longs is like a tenth or a dime. So all together, I have four, four what? Four tenths. 
And remember, the tenths live right next door to the decimal point. So my number would look something like this, 0 and 4 tenths. Let's look at just one more model, and then I'll be done, I promise. Let's say that we have this rectangle, and it is equal to one whole. When you were younger, you were used to that equaling 100. In this case, we're going to say it equals 1 broken into a 100 pieces. So it's a little bit of a mind shift there. So here I've got my one whole flat. I've broken it into 100 pieces, and I have three of them. Look at this common mistake. Some kids will just put 0 0.3. Can you see what's wrong with that? It's not 3 because that is 3 tenths. And we do not have 3 tenths. We do not have 3 dimes. We only have 3 pennies. So look how I'm shading 3 dimes and see if you can see the difference between those. 3 dimes is 30 cents, not 3 cents. And so what can I do to get the 3 in the hundredths place? I can add a very, very important placeholding 0 and bump my 3 over to its place value that is correct for this model, 3 in the hundredths place. And I know those are hundredths because it takes a hundred of them to make the whole. What? Are decimals cool or what? I think you're actually going to think so, okay? Just trust me. Trust me on this one. Okay, we're going to have fun this week, I promise you that.